Welcome to 3 Minute Thursdays. 3 Minute Thursdays are a short breakdown of topics that you will see within your flight training here at UND. The goal is for you, the student, to have a better understanding of what it takes to become a safe, professional pilot. Hello, my name is Tyler Lauer. I'm a lead flight instructor at UND Aerospace. This week, we will discuss the do's and don'ts of proper foot position while you are flight training here at UND. Let's take a look and see why proper foot position is essential to safe operations of the aircraft. While foot position seems like a fairly basic concept, without proper technique, loss of directional control can easily occur during landing. Improper foot position on the rudder pedals is often a contributing factor to loss of directional control incidents. Let's take a look at an example of a loss of directional control due to improper foot position. As you can see, the aircraft touches down slightly right of center line. After touchdown, a correction was made to bring the aircraft back to the center line. Due to the improper foot position while adding rudder input, the left brake was also applied. This then caused the aircraft to skid due to the differential brake pressure unbeknownst to the pilot. When looking at our rudder pedals, we need to break it down into where foot pressure causes the actual rudder to deflect versus where the brakes are activated. For proper rudder application, we should only have our toes on this portion of the pedal. The difference is clear when looking at how our feet rest on the rubber pads. If your feet rest high on the rudder pedal, you may be adding unintentional brake pressure when attempting normal rudder inputs. Keeping your heels on the floor will help prevent all accidental brake pressure when steering the airplane. This should be our normal position for everything from taxi, takeoff, normal flight, to the landing. Keep in mind, if you have larger feet, simply putting your heels on the floor may not be enough. Pay attention to where you are resting your foot in relation to the rubber pad. The only time our feet should slide up to the braking position is after touchdown with the nose aligned with the runway center line and the airplane has begun to decelerate. This will allow you to safely slow down to accomplish stop and goes or turn off the runway for a full stop. This week, we discussed the importance of where your feet should be placed on the rudder pedals. We also learned why we should only be using brakes when necessary and how proper technique prevents a loss of directional control during landing. Thank you for watching 3 Minute Thursdays. If you have a topic that you would like to see covered, please comment below. Remember, fly safe and we'll see you on the flight line. the airplane has begun to decelerate. This will allow you to safely slow down to accomplish stop and goes and go off the runway. I said stop and goes and it threw me off. <sighs> what happened is I said stop, I said stop and goes and then my eyes went back to goes. So I was like and goes off the runway? That doesn't work. Oh, I knew you were going to say it. So close. Stop and goes. Here we go.